Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are, you guessed it, simple. And in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add your own muzzle flash to your Sony Vegas 12 or 13 project. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to need a couple of things for this project. We're going to need a video of whatever it is you're wanting to add the flash to, which I got mine right here. And let's go ahead and, well, I'll show you in a second. And also you're going to need a muzzle flash, which I got this right here, which I will put links to everything in the description. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be adding a silenced gun sound from Paul, Paul Lip 83 that I downloaded from freesounds.org. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add our video. Okay. Do you want to set your to match this media? We'll click no because I like to export it out into 1080p 60 frames a second. Okay. First, let's go ahead and click on our video and click the U button. So we got, we can move the sound around. We're going to delete that and we're going to replace it with the gunshot sound. But first, let's go ahead and I'm going to size this video up or shorten it up a little bit to right before he shoots. Like right there. Okay. Now let's play. Okay. Now we need to find out exactly when he shot. So let's go ahead and frame back a little bit. Let's see. That was actually a pretty good shot where I had it at. I got luck like that, I guess. Let's add the sound and let's see how well it looks. Okay. Now we're going to want to add a flash to it. So let's drag our flash down and then put it up at the very top. That way it overlays everything. And we got our, <coughs> oh, excuse me compositing mode we're gonna click that and we're gonna go to screen which will get rid of the background color which is good and then we're gonna want to resize it because if you notice it's ridiculously huge so let's go to our track motion and we'll resize it and I like track motion better than scaling because I resized it and if you notice it's not the same it's not with the gun so we can move it, put it right there, right there, and we're going to rotate it just a little bit, move it slightly, there we go, okay, and something else you can add to it, oh, let's go ahead and move it to the sound real quick, that way it only pops up on that frame, okay, that looked really good, let's play it again. Now, what I like to do is I like to ooh, I like to go to where is it at? Video effects, Gauss and blur. And we're going to add it to the the flash, the muzzle flash. And then we're going to blur it up just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to go to our levels, level slider and kind of just We'll go ahead and we'll edit the blur just a little bit more. Darn it. Video event, video event. There we go. I clicked on the wrong one. There we go. That's good. Now let's play it from the beginning and we'll see what it looks like. That looked really good. You know, it just takes some tweaking. You know, you can actually make it way better than that. But for the sake of the tutorial, the point is across on how you can do that. It's very simple. It's super easy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You can hit me with the like button. You can hit me with the subscription. That would be like the best. You know, you wouldn't. It's like giving me a kidney. <laughs> nah, but if you really did not like this video and you've actually found a simpler tutorial, please post it in the comment section below. And you can give me a dislike button if you feel that necessary. Um, with that being said, um, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm hoping to. 
and this has been another simply tutorial where the tutorials are simple.